And first to a developing story this afternoon, as new evidence suggests that children transmit the deadly coronavirus. Many more adults have been infected than children, and those few kids who have got it show either mild or no symptoms. But they do come into contact, especially in schools, with many more adults. Two unconfirmed studies have shown that kids could possibly be the conduit for the disease. Robbo, this is a big turning point. Everything we've been told by our Prime Minister and the medical advice is that kids are at low risk. Well, maybe they are of getting it, but it seems like they could be transmitters of the disease. This is scary stuff. 100% 100% Rob you're exactly right your comments there about saying that you know a lot of kids don't get it but they could be conduits or they could be transmitters of it that's a really big issue uh, obviously I, I keep saying this and I, I, I do apologize it's a balancing act for the government we do have to get our kids back in school we do have to get education uh, back on the run but I, I this this is worrying news now as you mentioned in your intro there uh, the, the, the reports haven't been confirmed uh, so they, they've, they still have to go through a kind of a rigorous scientific standard uh, before they're actually taken properly. Yeah, but you know, it is worth seriously. noting this isn't some random commentator saying this. These are tests going on with the highest people in the field. Yeah. This is coming yes. out of the, being reported in the States uh, this afternoon. This is sort of breaking news. And it's not just some hodgepodge study that is coming to these conclusions. Oh, of course not. And no, absolutely not. And that's what that's why it's been taken so seriously. Uh, there's also been studies done in Germany as well uh, that are also coming to these same conclusions. This is a big problem, I think. We we also approached uh, the Minister of Health, Greg Hunt, for a statement on this story. Uh, they have, as we go to where this afternoon, have not responded to us for that statement. But it is a big issue because this is the thing we keep hearing about. It's either when do the kids go back to school with this emerging research? And we've got to remember, as well, no one really knows COVID-19. It's, it's still a, a lot of mystery surrounding the mm. disease. Uh, but again, it's, what are you supposed to do though, Rob? With this balancing act of trying to go, we've got to get our societies now, uh, you know, economies back on board. Uh, but then every day, new information about the disease is coming out. Uh, it's a scary time, I think, for politicians and a scarier time for parents. Look, it has me very worried. And, and Robbo, if that statement does come through from Greg Hunt's office, let us know and we'll bring it to our viewers of the Ben Rob and Robbo show. Ben, if you had kids up here in Queensland, children are meant to be returning next week to school. They're starting with um, prep, kindergarten and year 11 and 12. Would you feel safe sending your kids with this new information coming out? I don't necessarily think that I'd feel comfortable. I think that I would follow those guidelines that the government is setting. I think that uh, there's just going to be ways in which we tackle this virus. You know, I don't don't think anyone is really comfortable with this right from the start. But uh, I think if across the board it's saying it's okay for kids to go back to school at this stage, we can always change those restrictions. We can always bring the kids back home again. I think it's about just trying different things and working out it's going to be be better for us in the long run. Yeah, I think the biggest thing here is Scott Morrison has planted a flag firmly in the ground. And Robbo, this is going to lead to some issues with him. It's going to be a big back down if he says children now are a problem. Look, you're right, Rob, but I I hope the electorate would say to uh, Mr Morrison that it's an evolving situation. We've always heard that. The problem that he has, I think, is because initially throughout this pandemic and and, and these lockdown, it's been conflicting information and conflicting messages. That's the problem that's going to happen here. I, I think to reverse the school situation, if that happens, that's not a reversal. That, that you know, that's not a, a stepping back. Uh, but he has hurt himself at the beginning of this pandemic by being, uh, you know, at the forefront of the mixed messaging. Uh, look, I agree with Ben on this one as well. If, if it happens that it's bad, then what's the harm of saying, you know what, I got it wrong or not, I got it wrong, but, you know, situations have changed. We're going to now bring back to homeschooling. I, you know, I think that's okay. It's, it's a fluid situation, and I think we all need to be understanding of that. Yeah, absolutely.